got your forecast. So we got a couple things we're tracking. Okay. Got the storms out there in spots tonight. Heat wave is going to be around the corner. Yeah, I got When's that start? A couple days? Uh, maybe even tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, certainly All Thursday. Right. Let me show you what's going on. We look live over the Vine Street Expressway. Traffic actually, actually moving. How about that? It wasn't earlier. Uh, tracking a line of some storms tonight. That's leading our headlines. We've got that heat wave, as I mentioned, beginning tomorrow. And then we have some weekend storms that are going to be likely this past weekend, like we were telling you. Man, I hope you got out and enjoyed. All right, so let's start with the line of storms. Here they are. It's the same one I showed you earlier. Some of the tail end of this draping down to, say, Redding into Berks County scooting up into Carbon and Monroe, approaching the Lehigh Valley. This is what's happening now. Here's our future cast. It's doing a really good job. It's a high resolution model, keeps the clouds elsewhere. Kind of run you through the rest of this evening. It's generally good sleeping weather. There's a few of you that may hear the rumbles of thunder and the models want to bring another wave up here by early tomorrow morning down the shore. Five, six, seven o'clock tomorrow morning, at least the first half of the day. Here's a look at 630. Let me take you to say nine. We're going to keep clouds, some areas of fog, some hit and miss showers. That'll be your morning time, kind of like this morning where we had the clouds out there. And as we get into the noon time frame and beyond, the skies start to clear. We see some sunshine that rebounds the numbers up and most of you will be dry. Most of us will be dry all day long after we get past that mid morning time frame tomorrow evening, potentially a little wave of shower activity moving through, but the sunshine and the dry conditions in the afternoon going to allow those temperatures to warm up. So as mentioned, it's going to start out in the mid 70s, very sticky. You have the clouds, a few showers, skies clear out. We'll go up into the upper 80s to about 90 degrees for your afternoon temperature. You're getting out to the pools, water park, the shore. I think you're all good for that. But, you know, as we always say, if you hear the sound of thunder, that means there's a storm close enough you know, take the shelter, let it pass on by. But most of your day is going to be just fine. So let's talk about the heat wave today. By the way, our normal is 87 yesterday and pretty much all month. It was 88 while only a degree 88 is as warm as we get for that normal today. We're at 87. It shows you the arc is going back down this direction as we get closer to fall. So I mean, certainly nowhere near there, but that's the trend, at least for our normal. But Mother Nature has a different story. We are in the 90s, mid 90s every day, you know, Thursday, Friday. It's going to feel like 100 degrees. No heat advisories out right now, but I certainly anticipate them uh, being issued. Quick update 90 degree day so far here in Philadelphia. We've had 24 of them. We are going strong in June and early July, and then that kind of turned off a little bit to date. Last year we just had 14 the year before that, though we had 26 days. So just a little apples to apples 24 this year, 26 in 2022. That year we ended up with almost 50 days total in the 90s. August we generally get a bunch of them in 2021. We had uh, 22 of those days, so 24 90s. Now we're going to add probably another five or six. So maybe by the time the seven day forecast is over, get up to about 30 of those days. But so heat humidity, that is going to be the story. As I mentioned, the weekend Friday and Saturday, while not washout days, doesn't look like severe days. Certainly, I think that chance is there 60 70% chance for pop up showers and storms uh, Friday and Saturday with a, just a slight chance for you on Sunday. You go over to you.